Last time, we stayed in one of the biggest hotel rooms we've ever stayed in, and it happened to be at the famous Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Today, we're staying in what we consider one of the most underrated hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Come along with us, because it's always an adventure. I know, this has got to be one of the most underrated hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. What's up? Welcome to our City View one bedroom corner suite here at the Vidara. Now we stayed at the Vidara once before in sort of one of their basic rooms. It was a very cool room, but this one you guys is on a whole, whole, whole other level, starting with this kitchen. Now, just thought about this. Instead of me giving you the kitchen tour, why don't you take a look for yourself? Welcome to the bedroom, you guys. And let me tell you, this bed looks comfortable. Actually feels quite comfortable, but you know, the only true way to determine its comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time for the bed test. Now that bed was really comfortable and awesome. And so are these views from three sides, y'all. Welcome to the Badara pool. You guys yeah. I have to put my arm around you because my, uh, my, yeah. my watch is on here. I don't yeah. want to ruin it. Yeah, considered uh, one of the hottest pools. Yes. <laughs> from a heat standpoint. Yes, we actually learned from a really awesome guest that this roof <laughs> shop pool here is considered the death ray pool. Yes, exactly. And why is that, Dave? Well, because of all the reflecting around here. You see all around us. All around the reflecting. Yeah, look at up. You can catch the buildings. All around. Look at those buildings. Yeah, reflecting right back onto the pool area. This is blasting you, which right. makes sense as to why now you see every yeah. every chair has an umbrella and you don't have to find an upsell. Exactly. <laughs> so no it's upsell for those umbrellas, folks. Yeah. It is a nice pool, though. Very nice pool. Yeah, you see a lot of the kids are jumping right in. Yeah. Enjoying it. Yeah, and on special events, you're gonna notice in a little bit they actually have a barbecue going on. I'm getting a burger. Out here. A burger. Maybe a hot dog. A hot. Ooh, one of each. 
Not cheap though. No, cheap, like 18, 18 bucks and then the burger, 19 and bucks, 15, 15, 15 18, 15. Yeah, Something crazy like prices. <laughs> yum, yum, give us some. All right, I'm gonna do some laps. Oh, yeah, right. I'm do some laps. Do some laps. I'm gonna have that right there. Look at the size of that thing. That's like a monster. And it's only $18. <laughs> it better be a good what? one. Yeah. Wow. Look at that thing. That's a beauty, huh? Looks pretty good. Dang. Now, they did say it had to be cooked uh, well done right. currently because of uh, guy like regulations. Yeah. Department outdoor grilling. Well done. But hey, it looks good. Take that bite. A good burger. That's a good burger. Look at that, perfect. What do you get, man? I ended up getting the sort of like a ramen noodle chicken salad. Looks really good with the ginger dressing. So I, I, it's a salad. Sounds healthy. It is. Since I'm doing already the damage with the drinks, might as well do a little bit of the salad. Yum yum, give it some. I'll try without it. And how much is that? So this was the same as the burger. It was 18 bucks. 18 dollars. Poolside food is not cheap. It's almost like getting food at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice and healthy and good. Especially since we got these large Miami vices. Cheers, everyone. Not, not alcoholic, right? You told me that. I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Vice Versa, which is a nice, pretty casual bar here on the ground floor of the Vidara. Now, there's not a lot at the Vidara. It's a quiet hotel center strip, non-smoking, which is great, and also no casino. So if you want that casino on the ground floor, you don't want to come to Vidara, probably go next door to Aria or also next door to Bellagio. But overall, Vidara is a great, nice spot here. Good value, well, pretty good value spot, center strip. I just want to quickly mention, so the price of this Blue Moon here is $9. And the olives, which she gave us two little cute containers here, sort of the marinated olives, peppers, it's like Vidalia onions, is 5 bucks. So certainly not cheap, but here's the test. Mmm. Really good. Welcome back to the pool. Hey, welcome back. You can't get enough. <laughs> yeah, can't just go once. Got to go down and enjoy the pool in the heat of the Vegas yeah, sun for every sure. day if you could. Absolutely. <laughs> and actually, the uh, Vidara pool is quite nice. It's not large, no, but it's uh, quite intimate. And actually, this uh, this area here, the Cabana area, is very nice. You have almost have your own pool. Yeah, and there's about two or three of them here that yeah. have that option. I think there's one, two, three, four, five cabanas per maybe less, um, but there's also a main pool. And one of the cool things, again, is the fact that, like Dave said, it is kind of this infinity style pool that you have up here, yeah, away from nice. the fact that the main pool's full of kids. Uh, it's so peaceful. Oh, peaceful. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Yeah, head for 
your adventure. Quick point while we're here, right, Rock? You gotta make a reservation. That's right. On weekends, you still need reservation. Reservation. It's about fifteen dollars per vehicle. Plus the two dollar reservation fee. Well, that's true. So seventeen dollars per vehicle. So get those reservations in. And I believe it's www.recreation.gov. Yeah. <laughs> Now there's a lot of these pull-offs along the drive. Uh, and you can see hiking trails. A lot of people down there in the valley hiking down in. Really cool. Yeah, and as you come in, this is sort of one of the, uh, you can do the drive-through. This is one of the first stops when you're going through sort of the scenic route here. It's called Calico Hill. And there's a lot of folks down there now. And obviously this is a very popular trail. Great time to do it right about now because as it gets really hot, there's even scattered signs that'll tell you, hey, have a lot of water. It gets really hot out here. Yeah. Crazy to hike at that time. Exactly. <laughs> right now it's not too bad, but hey, if it's 115, that could be tough. Watch out for the rattlers. Vidara is one of the most underrated hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, and I will say one thing. Now, the Vidara is only valet parking. Now, you can self-park over at the Aria, which is self-parking, but at the Vidara, it's valet and you have to pay. And on the weekends, it can get pretty busy. Yeah. Not too long ago, but we stayed inside the secret hotel here at the Park MGM called The Nomad. And if you haven't seen that video, y'all should definitely check it out. Yes, the Park MGM is one of the newer hotels here on the Strip. Recently remodeled, actually took over for the old Monte Carlo, for those familiar with that. Uh, has, it also is one of the better budget hotels here. Weekday rates currently are around $45 a night, not including resort fees and taxes. Yeah. And of course, weekend rates can go a lot higher than that. A lot yes. higher. But we want to explore a little bit of what the Park and Gym has to offer. Of course, it's a non-smoking casino as well. So we are going to take this to a whole nother level. This is a quaint boutique room, so it's not going to be a big room tour. But let's kick off the room tour, then see what the rest of this place has to offer. You ready to check it out? I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, welcome to our cozy, quaint room here at the Park MGM. Now, it's a small room, and I tell you, so small that if you drop a piece of paper on the floor, it might be considered messy. But let's kick things off with the bathroom. All right, so Dave, what'd you think of that bathroom? Well, it's simple, clean, but I like the tub. Yes, cute, small, quaint bathroom. Now, one thing we'd notice with this room is that it reminds us of a similar consistency and color and theme of the Nomad Hotel. And apparently, the Nomad Hotel, which is owned by the Sedell Group, has partnered with the Park Game Gym. It's just not as luxurious or glamorous as the Nomad, but it's quaint. Check it out. You know what? There's the bed looks comfortable. It's low, <laughs> but it looks comfortable. But uh, you know, the only way to determine its comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time <laughs> for the bed test. The bed was pretty comfortable. Oh yes it was. And we checked in here very late. So we're gonna show you guys behind the red curtain which is of our view and then we'll see you guys down at the pool in the morning, hopefully. <laughs> Welcome to the 
Park MGM pool. You guys, we're so excited to check this out here. Now there's there's many pools here. Oh, it's a nice area. Three different pools, all recently renovated. It's a very nice area. Yeah, we're in the North Pool. I suggestion, you know, we look like we have kind of the combination shady sun sides when you walk in, just go to the right. Those are the nice back seats. Those are our favorites in the way for now. Right, exactly. For now. But anyway, yeah, the and the service seems very good here as well. They've been very attentive, which yes, is good. Yes, which yeah. is really nice. And we're about to have a little margaritas to kind of kick the, the day off, I guess you would say. Kick the day off kick margaritas. It off. Isn't that weird? Doesn't that sound weird to say? Like in Vegas, kick the day off. I'm in the morning kick with the day off. Let's just do I it. I guess that's normal. Let's kick, <laughs> let's kick the day off. Kick the day off. <laughs> One of our favorite poolside treats here in Vegas, of course, the breakfast burrito. Extra salsa. Extra salsa. Yeah, it looks good. I'm excited to dive in. Ready, babe? I'm ready. Oh, look at that salsa. I didn't put little, so much on it. A little bit of salsa. Here we go. So we got our large and in charge margaritas on the rocks here. Now the margaritas on the rocks, I'm gonna mention, hold on one second, stare at that margarita. Um, for the large ones, it's, it's $25 for a 32 ounce. So no joke on the wow. size and no joke on the price. But I also wanna mention, guess who is headlining here? Coming up in July, you guys, if you enjoy him, Bruno Mars is gonna be the, I guess, resident here at the Park and Gym starting in July, which is kind of crazy. Ow, baby Michael Jackson. Go pop a phone. Welcome to the new location of the Pinball Museum. Let's go! We are so excited, you guys. This is quite a uh, tribute to classic and old school pinball machines. Uh, this is an unbelievable collection of pinball machines, just going way back. I mean, some of these are so old. Absolutely, you can even hear the bells, I can hear the ringing. Some of them are these like weird old like cash register machine right? counters. It's crazy. Super cool, there's so much to check out, but I think without further ado, we need to kind of rock and see what this pinball museum has to offer. Let's find a place of pinball. Let's rock! Let's do it. <laughs> this has got to be probably one of the coolest pinballs because this here is how pinball started. It's just, it's super neat. It looks like you had to add up your own points here. That's it almost crazy. looks like a, a Plinko. It almost looks like Plinko. I think mean, it was built in 1933. 1933. Warfare Jigsaw. Test your skill. Test your skills. All right, oh, let's try it. I'm not sure. Are you, is it one quarter? There right, we go. Oh. Ah. Not really sure how this works. Goes into one of the Plinko holes. Up oh, 200. The ball's going to line up. Kind of add up your points there. That's 300. Nice. Oh. It goes around, then it stops itself, and then it's like, oh, nice. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, another 200. And for the grand finale, you guys, we're gonna be playing the Pinball Circus Midway. One of two ever built, and from what we hear right now, this is the only one working. Wow. That's crazy.
Turn it up, world. Welcome to La Pizza and La Pasta here at Park MGM. We're excited. Yeah, we're in Italy here mm. and uh, definitely hungry. Looking forward to maybe get some pizza. Yeah. And maybe some pasta. Yes. <laughs> well, I definitely want to skip on that pasta, but I like the pizza I and know. I think that nice arugula. I keep seeing tables with I arugula know. salad yeah, that has like the Parmesan cheese it. on it. I can't. Yeah. That's my jam right there. Yeah. We went ahead with the arugula salad, which we're gonna share. It came out already, it looks actually very nice. I know, it's a mountain of arugula. <laughs> yeah, very nice, nice shaved Parmesan on there too. And looks, olive oil, good. delicious. Right, and uh, also we're gonna share the margarita pizza. Now the margarita pizza is about $19. I believe the salad is about 16. Yeah, 15 or 15 16, 16 they yeah. said. Now what's interesting too about La Pizza and La Pasta is, you know, they're two different places working together as one. So if you order like, you know, pizza, and pasta at the same time. The pizza might be coming from another place and exactly. the different, pasta will be coming from yeah, somewhere else. Two different else, kitchens so. here. Two different kitchens, right? all under one roof, but, and all going into my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, give me some. You know, something so refreshing about a nice arugula salad, a lemon in there. The cheese, olive oil, and it's got a little bit of a bite to it. A nice cool salad on a hot Vegas day is uh, not too bad. Come on in from the heat. Nice little cool salad. Nice cool salad on a hot Vegas day. Yeah. You know what goes even better? A cold beer. <laughs> Welcome to the main event, Dave. We got the uh, margarita pizza. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks really That's good. Arrived. I love how the uh, crust on the edges is kind of a little, little crispy burntness to it. I think it's going to add some nice flavor. Oh, I'm sure it will. Yeah, it looks good. Looks juicy. I'm just gonna grab a slice and go. Right yeah. There Cheers. We go. <laughs> that is really good. It's not crunchy, it's a little soggy. Right. But the cheese. Mm. Yeah, it's incredibly thin. Right, incredibly thin. A, lo a little soggy, but not in a bad way so much. No. It tastes so good, just full of flavor. Still light though. Yeah, you know, of course, the margarita has not a lot going on there. You know, keep it nice and thin, very fresh ingredients. It's good. Yeah. And the crust is, the, the dough and the crust is really nice. Yeah, you like, you're more of a crust person than I am, um, but I definitely see it's got that nice mm. doughiness to it. Let me give it a shot. The crust is light and flaky. Mm. Very light. And the burn. No, nice, right? It's nice. Like, the whole thing is nice. It's, it actually reminds me of the word refreshing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's... Oh my gosh, I would I honestly have to say, initially I'm thinking, oh my god, it's $16 for a small pizza. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. But there's so much flavor in it that I feel like I don't really get in margarita pizzas. That's like it's right out of That's Italy. Nice. Exactly. Right out of Italy. Very, uh, very good. Ah, bon appetit. So, what do you think, babe? Hmm, I think the food was really, really good. It was actually good, what did you think? I thought it was very good too, but what do I do now? Well, you know what time it is, right? What's that, what time it is? It's time for some slack. <laughs> oh, we're between the lines, we're between the lines. Moving on. <laughs> all right. Oh. Well, that is all she wrote. So we didn't do so great on the slots, but we had a great time here at the Park MGM. Yes, Park MGM is a very good value option here with a good location on the strip. And if you don't like smoke, that non smoke casino is a nice option. Absolutely. The room's quaint, cute, comfortable. The pool's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah.
welcome to Palace Station. The Palace Station invited us to stay with them to check out some of their brand new upper level hotel rooms here. And we're excited to share with you our executive suite. And this is our first time staying at Palace Station, so we're excited to check it out. Yeah, there's so much to see here from the moment we walked in. I know they have some really great restaurants. As a matter of fact, the last time we were here, wow, was when we went to the Buff, the yeah, Feast, the Feast buffet. buffet, which is one of our favorite cheap eats here in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, it's not open yet, but that oyster bar. Mm, fingers yeah. crossed that it will open though. Yes. But you're right, that oyster bar, which we are dying to check out. Yeah. And many of you have told us to check out that oyster bar. Well, it may finally happen because we just found out that it's 24 hours. Right? It's gonna be late night. It's gonna be late night. But first, you guys, let us show you this room. It is pretty delicious. Let's go. <laughs> guys and welcome to our executive suite here at Palace Station. Little echoey in the hallway, but this little entranceway is super cool. I love the fact it has all these unique paintings, a little gold backsplash, a place to put your keys, and it feels inviting. I love when you have like these high ceiling vibes when you're coming into like a hotel or a suite. And this is one of their newer rooms here, which is on the upper levels in Palace Station. Check out this living room space. The ceilings are really, really tall. Look at the size of this TV. Talk about Netflix and chill. This is like Netflix and chill times like 50. Tanya, Tanya, I'm recording. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, you guys. I was just kind of taking in all these great scents. This is so nice of the Palace Station. They actually provide us with a little cute card that kind of says Tanya and Dave. That's so cute. Oh, it's a David when you're in trouble. It's David. And it's really neat. A whole full on chocolate platter, strawberry cheesecake, and you guys, a little champagne, nice. prosecco. It's actually chilled, so they were expecting us. Wow. And two nice glasses. And that is gonna be a fantastic way to set it off. And a little card from Palace Station that we'll have to read later on. And of course. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's a, not a mini bar, no, it's a nice fridge. A nice size refrigerator. That looks great. Where That's we can actually handy. put those chocolates so they don't melt. Don't get me wrong, I'm just gonna. Ooh, almost. Mm. <laughs> but while I finish this chocolate, take a look at this. Our room at Palace Station felt very inviting and comfortable. You know, having a giant sofa tub after a long day of filming in Las Vegas is always welcome. We were so ready to see what the Palace Station experience was all about. But before we get a move on, you know what time it is. Oh, Dave. Look, this is like a giant king bed here. It feels really inviting. Love the headboard. But you know what? The only real way to determine if this bed is super comfortable is what, Dave? Well, it's the bed test. That's right, y'all. It's time for the bed test. This room is really nice, and that bed is super comfortable, and those views are pretty nice from this room. Let's Cheers. Cheers. One of the things we like to do when we're at a hotel is, of course, check out the pool. So let's go. And we just want to say thank you to Palace Station because they've offered us a cabana to really kind of maximize the experience down at the pool. So let's check out what the cabanas are like. Hey, if you haven't done so, take a second to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And please give this video a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. And thank you. We weren't sure what to expect, being that the pool area seemed built into a parking lot. But 
Once we got out here, it felt completely separate. Well, given a few spots here and there where you could see that it was built into a parking lot. Sweet salty socks. Nonetheless, it was still pretty cool. Woo, all right. Well, the cabanas in the pool area are definitely nice. Dave actually went off to go get us some coffee to kick the morning off, right? Now, I always feel like cabanas are one of those places you can just chill and relax. And in this case here, there's like a volume control. You can crank up the volume and turn it up and dance. But today, we're just gonna chill out and relax. Now, Palace Station is a bit infamous. It was back in 2007 that O.J. Simpson and his cohorts actually went in with, at gunpoint to rob some sports memorabilia. And the place they did that was actually, has since been demolished. It was an old part of the Palace Station, but a pretty interesting point. We just wanna mention what comes complimentary with the cabanas are a fruit platter and some bottles of water. For pricing, head over to the Palace Station website or contact the concierge at the hotel. Now the pool is not too big, but it is nice. They do a nice job here with the pool. Now I have to agree with David on that one. It's definitely a fine little pool here. It's tight, lots of kids. I feel like this place is really known for families, especially. It's got good music, the cocktails are great. The water's a little on the cooler side, but hey, it's Vegas, baby. One thing about Palace Station is that it's very popular with the locals. I think they even have a sign out front that calls himself a local favorite. We really enjoyed our time at the pool. Now, I will say it's certainly not a big area at all, and the pool is pretty small. The staff was very friendly and attentive, and it made the experience at the pool enjoyable. All right, that's enough pool for today. We're getting kind of hungry. It's time to eat. Unfortunately, the lines for the oyster bar were way too long. So we decided to head to something we love, steakhouses. And right next door was a steakhouse locals love called the Charcoal Room. All right. Who wants to scooch on in? Scooch on in, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Charcoal Room here at Palace Station. You guys know we love our steakhouses, so. Here we are. We've actually never tried this before. We're excited to try it out and let you guys know what we think. We've already took a sneaky peek at the menu and there's some things that definitely caught our eye. One in particular is the bacon wrapped shrimp appetizer. Now there's supposed to be jumbo shrimps wrapped in bacon. I mean, huh, bacon wrapped around anything. Delicious. Yeah. We should try that with some of the onions too, right? Yeah, we could. I'm just grabbing them all. Cheers, I love yeah. you. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. That's Here excellent, go. very good. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. Nice crispy bacon mm. around that and those onions too and the sauce. Excellent appetizer. Yeah. And they're also known for their bone-in ribeye, which we're gonna probably share. Yeah. I think it's about 20 ounces or yeah, so. Pretty so big. It should be very good. So one of the sides that's pretty popular here um, and unique is the charred corn, which is almost like a Mexican street corn side dish. But there is one more thing we need to get. What? Well, that's the lobster tail. The lobster <laughs> tail. Ask for medium on the steak. See how it looks. Does that look medium? Haven't looked yet. Let's see. Yeah. What do you think there? It looks a little Lo medium well. Little medium well. A little medium well. We'll see that. We'll see but how the juice. But this is a ribeye, out. bone in ribeye. It's gonna be so juicy. So. Oh, it does cut nicely. Yeah. Maybe nice right. color. Yeah. It, looks, it does look yeah. a, little a little medium, little medium well. well. Yeah. A little bit. We asked for medium, so a little bit. Let's see more. how it tastes. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is tender. Mm -hmm. It's juicy. Very tender. I agree. Very juicy. Definitely medium well. Yeah. I feel like it could use a little bit more salt to it. Maybe it's a sauce here. You try out. I'm going to try it with the sauce. Yeah, I'll do that too. And we can just dip it. <laughs> exactly. Double dips are okay <laughs> here, okay guys. Here. That's right. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. That brings a different dynamic to it. I'm sure. You know, we're kind of playing in that aspect where we like kind of that salt and peppery vibe coming right. out of that juicy taste with the steak. And anything sauce is like bonus, right? Exactly. But I think this in this case actually takes it to another level, makes it really, it makes it good, wonderful. Yeah, overall, you know, it's a good uh, kind of ribeye. Yeah. Sure. The ambiance, the service, the drinks, and the food here at the Charcoal Room were really good. We would definitely say to us, this is certainly a hidden gem steakhouse here in Las Vegas. Now, we are stuffed, and we already have dessert waiting for us in our room. The Plaza Hotel and Casino celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Celebrating 50 years. 50th anniversary. This is exactly what the Plaza needed. They have some of the best odds. Happy birthday! <laughs> I think this has been such a wonderful experience. It's been a lot of fun, yeah. What's up, you guys? So, Dave, we're back in downtown Las Vegas. That's right, at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Now, Plaza has undergone some major changes, and so they've invited us back to check them out. So today, we're gonna share with you why the Plaza is the most underrated hotel in Las Vegas. For 2022. You ready to rock? I am ready. Let's rock! So this is the new Sand Dollar entrance. It's actually, you can get in from the outside. They made this whole presentation so that the lights of the plaza, which are a very popular spot down here to take photos, carries into the Sand Dollar. I will tell you, this is exactly what the plaza needed. And I think it's gonna really change the dynamic here. Wow, All right. check this out, you guys. Welcome, Turn It Up World, here Welcome. at the Plaza. Thank you, Plaza. That was such a great, great honor. Thank you for so much for having us, and thank you for putting Turn It Up World! Boop, 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 boop. Dave, what do you think? I think it's awesome, I love it. Hi, I'm Lily. And I'm Kevin. And we're from my Southern California. California. Turn it up world! Get it off the coffee way. Oh, uh, need the coffee. You gotta have the coffee, so what'd you order? Uh, I got a uh, large uh, triple latte. Oh. So three special shots. What about you, babe? Yeah, I got the, the medium. I got a medium this time, soy, because we have something coming up that's gonna be pretty exciting. Now, they do make great lattes here, and what's nice about the coffee bar here is when we're down here, right, it's like coming right out of the elevator, oh. and boom! You're here. It's like, hello. I know. One thing about the plaza, everything is so close, yeah. which is great. You come right down, boom. So easy to go there, back to your room, come down, get the coffee, everything. Thumbs up. Uh, for those of you that are into bingo, check out the plaza. One of the cool things about downtown plaza here, they're the only casino downtown with bingo. As a matter of fact, they even have a super bingo, which is done once a month. That just means more money, more opportunities. So check this place out. It's a lot of fun. It's on the level three grounds here across from the jerky spot, which we're about to check out next. So uh, get your bingo on. <gasps> Bingo! Well, this is unexpected, right? Las Vegas jerkies. So Dave, look it out. This is from Karen's Gourmet. Is this regular flavor? It's uh, bagel chips. Cinnamon. And these Which are some of the popular? highlighted ones there. I'm actually cinnamon. gonna get some gourmet like matcha almonds. And oh, look at Dave, he's right over there right now. There you go, babe. Are you trying it out? You're gonna try it out. Oh, you can try, try it out. Try it together, let's do it. Wow. Oh, I like the cinnamon. That's good. It's like cinnamon toast. Oh, I like this. Reminds me of cinnamon toast back in the day. Mm. Oh, wow, so uh, this is pretty cool. Apparently this is one of the most popular briscuits here. It's the Islander brand, which is their basically in-store brand. Mm. All right, maybe we want to try some babe. A little smoked beef jerky. I like smoked jerky. beef jerky. All and right. I saw another it's one. The original. I like that. That's the original. And I saw another one over here, which is the biscuit brief. It's like sweet brisket. and spicy. I like that. I like it. Let's give it a shot. And they make these here. Like this is what you see is what you get. They making them here. I, I'm loving that. Eleven seventy for a bag. Let's give they it a They just shot. restocked. These are the most popular, huh? I'm ready to go. Yum, yum, give We're me good. some. So one of the coolest things about the plaza is if you're into the game called roulette, they have some of the best odds for roulette. Actually, the best odds for roulette here in downtown Las Vegas. That's right, that's because they have single zero roulette. They don't have that uh, double zero <laughs> kind of crap. Yeah, don't worry about any double zero. You don't have to worry about that. So let's see, we're gonna try it. Let's see if the odds are in the favor of the casino or in favor of us. Ready to check it out? Oh, I am so ready. Let's go check it in. All right, so we put a thousand in. One thousand in. 
and it's a fifty dollar minimum. But don't don't look at this one. It's really fifty dollar minimum. Well, it's because we have a we have a reserved table. reserved table. Because you reserved it, we're kind of the only ones here. Right. Then that's what they do. But so that looks a little right. And it's single zero roulette, of course. So it has the odds are better here. All right. So should we uh, kind of set the table? We're gonna take our time here. Uh, but, uh, okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. You're trying to give some 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 kind of spread it out, uh, a little spread bit. it out. Okay. All right, maybe down this way, and then maybe we're, I think what we're gonna do is maybe put on uh, like six of those. Or yeah, see what they can kind of maybe put on the fours. You want to pick some down there. You kind of switch sure. every. Uh, sure. Boom. Yeah. Kind of keep going zigzagging. Yeah, might as well zigzag and see how we do. So that that's about <laughs> 155 in, right? It's 155 in. That's 50. That's 100. That's 25. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 55. 155. Okay. Woo! So 155. I think. Oh, there dear it is. Lord. All right. Give me a kiss, baby. Bye, bye. Oh there we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. There it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Beginner's luck here. Can we get a little beginner's love? Let's see how we do. <laughs> I'm not sure if you should be having Six. coffee. Here we got that. Right. Okay. A little something. All right. A little something a little on something. this side here. Hey. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we're out. <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Keep it the same. For that the first one. few. All right, I'll do the five. You, you, you can do the six. Yeah. And you can, pick, you can do either there or up there, whatever you're feeling. Try that. Are you sweating yet? I don't know if coffee is a good idea to have. You're supposed to have a cocktail which Drink keeps it. you calm because the coffee makes you more anxious. Make it good. Come on, let's get Come it. On. Oh, drop in. What's a drop it in? A lemon. Oh. All right. We got a little something, something. A little something. Oh, so this is not bad. I think I think the objective, if you kind of have this idea of spreading your wings a little bit, obviously it's much more of a, a risk if you can kind of hit just one focal point number, right? But oh, in yeah. this case here, I feel like if you spread your wings a little bit, you get yeah. some good stuff. It's like right? all in on 22. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. All right, so I've had a little string of luck. Up, yeah. up $90 okay. now. Okay, right? I see that. So do you want to, should we kind of keep on going, see how we do? Keep so going. So we got a little, we got the- uh, Okay, that's me. The 30 there, you kind of place those where you want. <laughs> One or the other, yeah. That's it, okay. Oh, gosh darn it, Dave, it's about to turn red. Come on. Oh, there it goes, that means no more. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on now. All right, don't trick me. Come don't, on. Don't, don't do what I think it might, it's just gonna do about this round. Yeah, Woo. okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. We're getting, okay. That, we're getting the slow increase. <laughs> the slow, at some point, though, do we kind of. Uh, um, I think this has been such a wonderful experience. It's been a lot of fun, yeah. And we're up. Yeah. So, should we kind we, of take maybe. While we're chips, chips are up. Yeah, maybe we do that and get something to eat. One of the cool things about Plaza Las Vegas here in downtown is the fact that they make it so affordable to everyone, including the food spots. And they house some of the tasty cheap eats all under one roof here at the plaza, such as Pop Up Pizza. Now, Pop Up Pizza has some tasty pizza slices, and my favorite is Mike's Hot Pepperoni with jalapenos. And they're really tasty here. They're nice sizes, and they're yeah. about like $5.25 yeah, a slice. Bad, not bad. I mean, come cheap on. Eats. Another great spot to try is the Fresh Mexican Grill. Yeah, we do like the Fresh Mexican Grill here. And one of our favorites that we've gravitated towards here is the Bidia Taco. A bidia, in, in this place, I think it's a Bidia plate. Kind of add your meat on there. It's got that great dipping sauce. It's actually a very tasty spot. I'm excited. I think this is maybe where we're going to have to parch our butts and grab some eat. What do you think, Dave? That sounds good to me. All right, let's go eat Fresh Mexican Grill. Cabana. This is a really great little rooftop pool here. It's small. Oh, wait, whoa. Welcome to the cabanas here at the plaza. Got my margarita. 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 <laughs> it's actually a very unique sort of pool top here with the cabanas, the lounge chairs, the pool. There's a hot tub. And oh my gosh, it's really windy right now. It, it is windy. Yeah, I love the pickleball courts too up here. The pickleball cool. courts are very Yeah, cool. it's very cool. Just being up here, you know, you kind of look down on Fremont Street and all the, by the Fremont Street experience across the Circa. I mean, it's really cool. The murals they have on the building. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a cool spot. Oh, it's a cool spot yeah. to relax. Unfortunately, the food truck that used to be open is not open no, at the moment. No, I know. No. But I do believe they have, like, light bikes you can order from the restaurant, kind of have a beer and cocktails, which is really nice. Here comes that wind again. I know. 
Maybe we'll have to get in the hot tub at some point. Just not right now. <laughs> so if you're staying at the plaza, now do not forget every Thursday from four to five for hotel guests, there's free beer, wine, and what else for guests? <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? Get to know like the community. It. And it's all here at Omaha Lounge SIP. They call it S I P. Get your SIP That's on. Right. It's so like your home downtown. Party. Oh, oh I like hi. That. Thank you. Cheers, Thank David. Thank you. Cheers. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Wine. Welcome to Studio 71. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very cool sort of vibe kind of Instagram vibe, super cool. I, I don't even know where to begin, but just let's just dance the night away. Have some fun, have some fun with that. All right, Dave, come on, I see you. Woo. Welcome to the Kingpin Suite here at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas. Ooh, so exciting, babe. So we are heading yes. back to the Palms because they are inviting us back to stay in one of their extremely cool theme rooms. Oh, and this, this suite is awesome. And can I tell them what it is? No, you can't tell okay, them what it is. Okay, so I can't tell you guys, no. but I'm gonna, give my, I'm gonna give my quick little hint. Okay, give them a hint. Okay, the theme is one of Tanya's favorite activities. Oh, I like it. Turn it up, world! <laughs> I'm still in awe that we're in a hotel room that has a bowling alley as its living room. <laughs> I know. No, it's definitely one of the coolest suites in all of Las Vegas, no doubt about it. Oh, for sure. And the Palms is kind of one of these places that's known for its theme suites. Yes. And we did a really cool video of the Hardwood Suite, which is the largest suite here it's at like, the Palms. Whew. Basketball. Yes. Dreams, baby. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I, I have to tell you, I am dying to get on that bowling alley to see if we can uh, put a couple strikes in there. What do you think? I like it. I think we should do it. Should we give it a shot? We should. That's what this room is about, baby. Let's do it. is a pretty amazing suite, but there's only one true way to determine the bed and the kingpin suite's comfortability. And that's what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time for the... Bed test.
of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm definitely getting hungry, though. Are you getting hungry? I am starving. As a matter of fact, my arms are really, really sore uh, from bowling too. right now. So we are actually heading down to the all-new, all-you-can-eat lobster buffet here at the Palms. And we're really excited to share this now. It's going to be in a separate video, and you may go check it out. It may already be out by the time you see this video. Yeah, so I think it's time to go, and we will see you in the morning. See ya. But our adventure here at the Palms wasn't finished yet. Dave and I decided to stay another night in their fantasy suite, which happens to be in the Fantasy Tower, their newly renovated towers here at the Palms. Good morning! So we're heading right. up on a Thursday, right, girl? Thursday, <laughs> yes. Heading up on the cabana. We're going to check out the cabanas today yeah, here. Yeah, apparently uh, no one's been up on the, in these yet since oh, the reopening, so. So primo, first, out, yeah. first going up on the uh, upper tier of the cabanas, huh? Yeah. Turn it up, world! Wow. All right. Cocktails, Bloody Mary. What is that? A little margarita. Oh, of course. Cheers, my Cheers, dear. To a great day, fun time here at the Palms. Cabana, upper tier, baby. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Can't wait to jump in that pool. Oh, I'm ready. You ready to go drink the pool? I am. Mm. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh. All right, your Bloody Mary is served. Thank you very much. There you go, enjoy. How great is that poolside? Oh, it's awesome. Look at that. You gotta come in, my dear. The water is magnificent. And guess what? Guess what? The views are just the same. Look at that view. Oh, I'm rolling. Good we did. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, Thank you. No, Jules, please don't hurt me. No, this is a really cool spot here at the Palms in the center. When you walk into the entranceway, step into the unknown. That is the name of the spot here. It's a massive, I feel this is like a marble countertop, granite, goes wraps all the way around, tons of bar seating. Grab a cocktail, very easy to find. Just look for Jaws, the massive shark. Hey, babe, the food court at Palms has some really nice stuff. Yeah, they right? do. This is cool. Right, you know what? Know what we like. I Ur know. Earl's sandwich. They do. They have Nothing Panda, Earl's sandwich, McDonald's, a coffee beanery, and something really cool behind you. Did you notice that? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. It's a nice the movie theater. Movie theater. Whoa. All right. If you're looking for a great steakhouse, Scotch 80 Prime has just opened up here at the Palms, or reopened up, I should say, and it's a good spot, well worth checking out. So this is a very, very unique place here at the Palms. Well, it was once upon a time, I believe, a shark bar, but they converted it right now into what is considered the VIP. So when you have your player's rewards card at certain statuses, it allow you to come enjoy some of the uh, accoutrements <laughs> here at the VIP, right, Dave? Oh, no, it's so nice. Actually, we really enjoyed it in here. Very oh, yeah. nice. You cocktails galore, your choice of snacks, coffee, water. And the just, service. And the service is Great. dynamite. But here, let me show you the VIP. So this is a really cool room, you guys. We traditionally try to do things a little bit differently with these reviews, but I figured we have to start with something special. It's a corner fantasy suite. This is an updated room here at the Palms. We're excited. I, I think the best thing to do right now is to check out the views first. But first, lights and views. And more views. And more views. And last but not least, more views. What do you think? I like it. 
you know, everything's basically brand new. You feel like you're coming into like a new house. And uh, now it's not super cheap. It's like 239 weekday rate and uh, with resort fees like 271. But I mean, for the space and all the windows, I mean, that's pretty nice. But what do you think, babe? Yeah, I have to agree with you. This is a very nice room. It's updated. We're one of the first in the updated room, which is always nice. I will say, I think for the price point, I wish it would have had a little bit more amenities like a refrigerator, maybe an extra robe because they only gave us one. But overall, I think this is a uh, pretty decent, but the only hmm, true way to determine this room and this bed's comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the best test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time. For the bed test. All right, so good morning. So Dave and I, after further discussions, decide to just take the night, rest, and really kickstart palms the right way. The morning way with breakfast, right, babe? Absolutely. Ready for some breakfast? I'm ready. Breakfast! Wow, this is really exciting to be back here at the Ace Buffet after a too long year wait. I'm so excited. I know, and now it's brunch. So we had brunch before, did like a full review of that two years ago. Now we can actually uh, just try it out. Yes. Right, which is great. Now it's like $32.99, not too bad, but the drinks are all included. So. Yeah, and that includes the champagne and the mimosas. Exactly. It wasn't last time. I mean, there was a package we had last right. time. So this is really kind of neat. And, ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to get started. Check ready to get out. started? Yeah, it's not too busy. I'm yeah, so, okay, there's so much to work with over there. I'm starting off with, I don't know, a little of almost everything. I know I'm gonna be sampling some of that deliciousness you got over there, but I got the ham, which has sort of a really flaky kind of vibe to it. I got the waffle. I got some uh, eggs benedict here, some scrambled eggs, some sausage, the whole nine yards. We got mimosas, we got coffee. Yeah, we're ready to go. Man, what do you got over there? All that I, got a little, I got a lot, of, a lot of different sausages. <laughs> What's that, like a Portuguese sausage or something? Portuguese sausage. And then just some breakfast sausage. I got uh, a little omelet made up. Ooh fresh over at the omelet station, Yay. which has like kind of spinach and ham oh. and onions, some cheddar, a little bit of everything in there. It's gonna yum, be good. Yum, give it some. Well, the Palms has a lot of interesting restaurants here from Maple's Barbecue, you got the buffet. There's a food court full of food breakfast at Serrano's. You can even check out Scotch 80 Steakhouse, which we are going to be diving into at some point. But today we're heading to Tim Ho Wan, which is their Michelin star restaurant here. And I've heard they had some pretty good dim sum. So I think it's dim sum time to check it out. Let's eat. I mean, I am like super psyched for this place. I know. It's right, awesome. a little dim sum. It's supposed to be great, like a Michelin star and right here at the Palm. Busy. It is, it's actually very busy here. And I tell you, those baked barbecue Pork buns, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, oh Dave, there's something missing for you. Oh yeah, I need uh You need, a, you yeah, need can sports. I have some uh, utensils, please? Not for me. Already showing up on the table are the pork buns. Look oh yeah, look buns. at that. They look firm and flaky. Now I could have picked those with chopsticks, but I'm gonna just... Hot pocket. Mm. That outer shell's crunchy. It's got like the perfect amount. And see that steam coming out of there? That is good. You're right, man. That is sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. We've actually ordered an assortment of things here just to kind of give a bunch of different things a try. From the pork buns, which are $7.50, you get three of those nice sized pork buns. The wonton soup, which is coming, $12.95. The shrimp shumai dumplings, that is $6.95. The uh, spicy dumpling, right over there, we just showed you guys, is $6.95. And the garlic shrimp, which is a very popular item on the menu, 
that is a whopping 38 bucks. So we're diving in to test which one's our favorites, but so far, that pork bun is yum yum. Give me some more.